you look more dazed, more shocked and unthinking than you really are, that's fine. What are my chances? One in 20, you make it out alive. Do we need these? If they cuff you, you're dead. Don't be silly. Put those away. Lieutenant Fletcher is only here to help us with a few matters. He'll be on his way soon enough. But in the meantime, we treat him as our honored guest. Of course, Castro. If our guest makes any unwise moves, you might have to shoot him. A little bit. Smoke, Mr. Fletcher? Maybe later. Right now, a cigarette might just... Might what? The men who did that to you. I guess I haven't taught them the finesse needed for that sort of thing. We're all patriots here, just like you are, right? I guess. All you need to do is cooperate with us. There's no need for another dead cop. Wonderful. I've taken care of everything. A car is waiting for you outside once we've finished our conversation. Really? You'll be back home by tonight. Your gun and badge returned. No one will even know we took you. If you can find a way to work with us, then there's no need to go any further. I understand. Are you prepared to help us? Listen, pal. If you answer their questions, maybe they will. Maybe they really will let you go. Maybe there really is a car parked just around the corner. Maybe. You really will be making it back to the precinct scared, but alive. Do I have any other choice? <laughs> you always have a choice. To accept hope is to find something. I'm still working on coming up with quotes that sound like me. Everyone makes it seem so easy. Close enough. It's natural to want to believe. Especially after you've been dragged out of your house and briskly beaten by men who smell like misdirected rage. Giving them what they want won't help you. What matters is the guy who hasn't said anything yet. So you want to get out of here? You're going to have to listen to me. Everything I'm going to say. Do you deny receiving information about our activities from a man named Eddie Herrera over the last 14 months? No. I don't deny it. As if anyone's ever won an argument in a room like this. Although, it was a little longer. A year and a half, I think. Have a cigarette, Mr. Fletcher. No. No. Thanks anyway. Here's your informant. Not too pretty anymore, is he? Couldn't have been a pistol. Even something low caliber like a 22, fired close enough to leave a powder burn on his skin, would have pushed the skull out of shape. Now, the NYPD is a big situation around here. But we have our pride and the courage to follow through with our mission. Do you see that now? What do you all want, anyway? To change things. Your job, your family. Who isn't looking to change things? A domestic terrorism group isn't the way to change things. But we think it will. We're two different countries fighting for the same land. What a load of... I think you found your voice. Came out well, didn't it? Look, we already know he told you about us. We tried getting him to say what that was. Finally, we had to ask Castro here to try and make him tell us. Castro, can you please show us how you tried to make Eddie tell when he was sitting where Lieutenant Fletcher is now? I still haven't figured out how to use this thing. Electricity isn't always that easy to control. I'm, I'm an electrician. Or at least I was before all this started. I can't seem to decide which one I enjoy more.
This can be touched to the extremities, the torso, the genitals. Of course, you never forget something like that. Is that what you did to Eddie? No. You got a jolted half power. Never mind. Just Do you have a history of epilepsy, Lieutenant? Tried the pre-med thing in college for a bit before dropping out. Seems so much easier on TV. I have to ask you some questions now. I feel like I need to tell you that these are the ones poor Eddie wouldn't answer. You've been charming enough. We wouldn't want Castro to use his machine. Give them something small. Calm down. Breathe. The only way you're getting out of here is if you shoot everyone in the room. Which is unlikely anyhow. Give a little. I said I'll help you. You better mean that because we're not fucking around here. You want that cigarette now, I think. So. Your arms trafficking unit comes soon, like Zaro. How do you know? I saw the search warrants. How soon? I don't know. When the raid happens, will they strike at the safe house or go right to the warehouse? The Power Rangers must have showed up to clear them out. If we can find out- We'll go after the safe house. There hasn't been anyone there in weeks. The only thing left now is trip wires and mines. The safe house at Turner and First. Oh. They won't want the warehouse? They know what they have warrants for, don't they? Look, if you want to stop them, hit the warehouse. They're keeping all the guns hidden there until the new arms shipment comes in. No. My captain said start small, miss small. be able to surprise them. They're arrogant now. But Castro will shoot you even if you do. If I manage to get his gun? Even if you do, Castro and Luther will be all over you before you can do anything. If I was able to shoot them all, if I manage to escape There'll this be room. more guards everywhere. Even if you do, they'll hear the shots. Buddy, it looks like you're lying. Why would I want to lie in here? We have no idea why you'd want to lie. Doesn't really matter. I'm guessing a demonstration is needed to prove our point anyway. You'll have to take a shot. No. Do you want to get out of here? Am I wasting my time? You guys can't do this. I'm an officer of the law. People know where I am. Hold out your hand, Lieutenant. Left hand. You can do this. Do it. It's working yet? I think you got it. Yes, as you can All see. Right. Let's get back to business. There was only one quarter power. Look, we know the feds will go to the warehouse. We know that on the way they'll take down our remaining settlements if possible, which it probably is. Only for a while. Only for a while. It doesn't matter to us. We find hundreds of kids roaming the streets looking for the next righteous idea to get behind. What matters is the little bit of rope we left you. Just enough to see if you turn it into a noose. Which you did. Do we have your attention, Mr. Fletcher? I'll help you. Is the FBI involved? Yes. Many? At least 60 agents. Full gear? Some are, but most aren't prepared for a situation like this. Where are they? Everywhere. You can't just draw it out on a map. Who's running it? It's coming straight from the top. The commissioner will fucking be there. 
Who's their informant? There's no way Eddie knew enough to get warrants. And there's a man. Can I get that cigarette now? Lieutenant, of course. Grab him, Castro. Shit, not yet. Don't let him fall, you idiot. Get in control. We need to be done with Get to it. Hey. Hey, look at me. Please. Don't kill me. I can get you out of this, I promise. I can get you out of here, I, I, I swear. You just have to let me go. I know what you want. A little money to forget about this, right? I have enough, I have enough to get you free. You know, just, isn't that what you need? A little rest, a little relaxation. Just let me go! Shut up! How many people have you killed in this room? Or rooms like it? Listening yet? Luther said that Eddie couldn't solve anything, that it wasn't worth the fight. Maybe he's right, maybe not. I don't know or care. What I do know is Eddie wasn't involved in those police ambushes three summers ago. He was in rehab in Florida. He wasn't part of the group that massacred three officers investigating a meth lab. But you were! You hid their bodies in an alleyway including the lieutenant whose job I took. Who I love. Even if you get out of here, someone will be waiting, waiting to take you back. What are you waiting for? After what you just accomplished, do you really think this ends here? It's time to move on. Cigarette. Hey. No. What do you mean no? Keep the change. You smoke? No. Bad habit. Quite awful. It's a nice day. Lucky to be alive. 